Shall we start? Let's start. There's some people. <laughs> oh, that's nice. I've now broken my legs. And your dog's called what? Frank. Frank. Good name. Frank. Oh, he's waving. Everybody point to Cassandra's cat. I've got a plan. Look, this is the plan. Then there's a thing that says Panda Thong. Most courses haven't got that. <laughs> but that's 11 o'clock. So that's like an hour afterwards. And that's 12 o'clock and that's 1 o'clock, right? What a lot of time. So look, that's now stuff. That's now stuff. And that's now stuff. And in the UK, everything was an hour. Nothing ever, no, no events in the United Kingdom ever took more than an hour. I don't know how this is going to work. Basically, what's on the screen? You get my diagram, don't you? Good diagram. It's quite pleased. Panda, look. Oh, if, if you're thinking it's not meant to be like this, I agree with you. What is a university for? So when we get going... That looks like a chinchilla. I think that's a chinchilla. Yeah. Now, the thing with having so many of you on a jam board is that you can just totally mess up each other's stuff all the time, and it's chaos. Uh, right, this is obviously too many things. Uh, <laughs> now it's just a mess. Okay. Is this creativity happening? Is this creative? That's the question. Um, I still think it's creativity. I don't think repetition diminishes creativity. Practice makes perfect. Yeah, so artists try different processes all the time, especially when they're in like a block. Maybe this guy has been in a block. Out of 10, like three. I'd give it a three because it has sprinkles. I, I'd give you an eight because it's pretty good. Hey? came up with that. Thank you. Thing, like the person who created this cupcake and invented the recipe and decided how it would be de decorated the first time is creative. But once they start just mass producing them for the public, it's basically just printing the same thing over and over. Th yeah. Making something with your hands uh, is, is creating in and of itself. So then it, it would be creative as long as you're producing something. Could you make something with your hands which you wouldn't count as creative? Oh, I right. feel like it's a like it's a way to recycle almost. Like it's it's taking something that might be old or kind of obsolete and like rewrapping it for like a new generation. It's like a way of passing things down. The, the problem you then have is that you need to make a train cake. Like the fact that you say you're inexperienced, like yes, that does make the act of doing it more creative. Like a train cake, I don't know. Yeah. But I wanted to highlight the fact that you mentioned experience. And so there you've got how people, how other people rate it as being creative compared to how you would think about it yourself as the creator. That's an interesting distinction. Doom-laden train cake. Yeah, like choo-choo, you made a train cake. Thank you. I now feel quite proud about this train cake, which I didn't make. This is off Google and research. I did make this cake. We need to see that you've learned from experience, basically, don't we? Really? <laughs> that album? Oh, it it down. Down. You gotta listen to it again. I don't think Taylor cares what we think because she's in a place where she can do whatever she wants. Yeah. Says Olivia. I don't agree. I think she does care. So I picked this one when it came up first because, um, you know, I, I searched for Starry Night Van Gogh and this came up and I thought well, this is a good clear picture of it. Is it paint by numbers? And so, yeah, people on Etsy, this happens a lot. Obviously, it's, it's very similar because it, they've copied it, but also it's not the same. <laughs> it's different. Um, $20 million at least. Whereas this on Etsy, you can get it for about $200, I expect. Uh, much better value than rubbish, talentless. And then this person uh, has just done the same thing, but worse. Oh, so that's what you think it looks like. And this is a sort of remix and taking their own perspective on a piece of art. Uh, as an artist, you kind of have to reference other artists and maybe recreate their art Maybe it is a nicer object. <laughs> All these different things, motivation, experience, whether you've done it before or not, whether anybody else has done it before or not, all these things. Fast running. Is that creative? Um, you, need, you do need to like get a little bit creative with the way that you train your body and that you train yourself mentally in order to improve. Janelle Monet. Well, I just wanted to have a straightforward good thing in there. <laughs> so maybe the artist was trying to make a mockery of like, you know, commodities and stuff like that. Like if you do something that's so realistic as art that it looks like a photograph, does that make it lesser or does it make it more? -er? What's that one? Oh, yes. Okay. I'm just looking at these and making noises. If you just draw a tiny version of this on a pad, you're going to be stuck. So draw this. These are just examples. I put, for example, it might be optimistic. 
experimental and neon like what does neon like even mean yeah, that's like part of my thing like I just do a bunch of stuff i wrote down heavy which surprised me because i think i have a touch of perfectionism so whenever i do something creative it takes a lot of energy a few words that are characteristics of the things you'd like to create a few words that are values of this creative work sort of what ideals underpin it what are sort of values that you want to shine through it at the beginning i just wrote like imaginative or like curious which when i first thought about that i was like oh like i could just do anything and like that's kind of what i want to i forget what the first one was but get out of this and then at the end i wrote like challenging and unnatural and like that kind of completely changed the beginning when i wrote like curiosity it was already stuff that was in your head and then you wrote it down but it's the act of writing it down that makes it like, oh, it makes it, you're sort of externalizing a thing that's already inside yourself, but by going through some exercise where you actually put it down or express it, then it becomes more of a thing than otherwise, where it's just kind of somewhere in your subconscious. That's the thing. And then see you next week. <laughs>